Disclaimer. I'm very tired. Uh, uh, any uh, battle kit in uh, any outcome, depending on the circumstances. Volume. We are simply choosing the most likely outcome and no one that will fit in the comments. Don't worry, I'm okay with doing this commentary. I just, just woke up and my body is like... Uh, it's, it's like in that state where you just want to lay down forever. You're not quite ready to get up. But then, like, force yourself to get up because you know you have to. So, yeah, my body's kind of stuck in that kind of state. Like, I literally want to be laying down, covered up in my war machines right now. Ah. But anyways, Makunochi Ippo versus Little Mac. This was probably my favorite episode so far. It was so much fun to do. Because I love both these characters equally, and I am also, like, a huge fan of boxing in general, so... You can imagine how much fun this was to do. <laughs> like, I already knew all the stances, how they worked. I already knew all the uh, moves they used. It was it was just great. Like, I knew... Believe it or not, I knew the name of Ippo's Dempsey role before they even announced what it was. Because of what he was doing. Uh, so my experience with uh, Punch-Out... I I got into Punch Out quite a few years ago, actually. I play like I got it on the Wii Virtual Console, and I did very good on it. And then I got the Wii version, like the new 2009, I believe, Wii version, and I was pretty good on that one too. Like really good on that one. Like I could I can beat most of it blindfolded, probably. I actually did beat some of it blindfolded, but I haven't tried further. So I have no idea if I can do it or not. I just haven't, like, tried it all. So, who knows? I could be able to play Punch-Out! We blindfolded. So, so, Mac is definitely one of my favorite characters. Like, he's even my main in Super Smash Brothers. He's such a good character there. He's so underrated. Like, I know his recovery's terrible, but it's actually not that bad if he could just wall jump off the side. Mm. But... Yeah, I can see why people don't play him, but he's still underrated. Especially if you know how to use Mac really good. But now my experience with Hajime no Ippo. Uh, I've, I've seen a few episodes of the anime, like, when I was younger. But when I was younger, I wasn't, like, too interested in anime. I was more, like, into cartoons with the super hyperactive, fast-paced, episodic type thing. I just didn't have the attention span to follow a story or anything. But I think three years ago is when I started being like okay with listening to a story. Like fifteen, I was like, okay, I can I can sit down and watch through this. So, and this this was one of the animes that I watched. And then rewatching it again for research was a blast because I get to make all kinds of funny jokes because I already knew what was gonna happen. Like, Ippo was all nervous about fighting Date-san, and I'm like, don't worry, Ippo, you'll beat Date-san, right? Oh, that was probably a spoiler, but... Oh, well. <sighs> oh, yeah, the heartbreak shot. That's creepy. Like, you get punched, and then you're just, like, completely frozen, because your heart stops. It's, like, super creepy in the anime. <laughs> oh, at least it's not like that Naruto fight scene between, like, Hinata and Neji. Or, like, Neji, like, gets her with his... I forget what it's called. I haven't watched Naruto in a long time. But Neji gets her with his move, and then it shows, like, her organs, like, kind of, like... Like, exploding, but not really. Like, internally exploding. And she, like, spits up blood, and it's just like... Ugh, ugh. These are children! These are ninja children. These are children Ch Chinchillas. <laughs> They're chinchillas. Oh yeah, this speed feat. I was actually surprised when I calculated, because Coach Genji's is like, run eight sets of 800 meters, do it all in three minutes. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's probably normal, right? I mean, it's probably harsh, but it's still normal. And then I looked it up, and it's like, 78.2 miles per hour. Like, I did the calculations myself. <clears throat> it was pretty insane. That was one of the first calculations I did my self on fictional fights. One of the first, though, not the first. The first one, the first calculation I did was uh, Rayman's punch. Like when he punched the Teensy to another constellation. 
I calculated how much force and what that would do to the Earth. And that's like a multi-continent level, actually, believe it or not. So Rabian is multi-continent level <laughs> with one punch. And he doesn't even have to fully charge it either. Mm. I was trying to find a weakness for Evo because there wasn't a super duper clear one. Because he always fixes his weaknesses. Like, when he's studying a boxer for a fight, he's like, his coach is like, that boxer's gonna aim for this weakness. So Ipa's like, okay, better train this weakness to not be a weakness anymore. So, as of now, Ipo has no notable weaknesses. Except the fact that he has trouble with left-handed foes and other inboxers. But Mac is right-handed, and he's not an inboxer, he's an outboxer. So Mac is literally the easiest kind of opponent for Ipo to fight. And Mac work... Mac kind of relies on striking obvious weak points, like when his opponents miss a punch, or super visual cues like Piston Hondo twitching his eyebrows. All Mac has to do is punch him during that. So he still does hit their weakness, but it's they're kind of more obvious than Ippo. So that's another reason why Ippo won, because Mac wouldn't be able to like figure out easily where Ippo's weaknesses were. Oh yeah, the laughing big filler, because Punch-Out doesn't really have a story. J Mac's just kind of an underdog starting to box, and then magically winning a lot because of main character armor. Protagonist plot armor. <laughs> That's why. Uh, um, I'm cold too. If you hear my voice shaking, that's because I'm shivering. <clears throat> but yeah, there's no punch out story. He's just like, Doc, I want to box, but no one believes in me. Okay, Max, you can box. I'll train you. And then that's it. He becomes champion. Yeah, uh, someone was pointing out to me that uh, Mac would win because he beats Mike Tyson and Ippo uses one of Mike Tyson's stances. I mean, no offense to that person, but that excuse is like super duper dumb. That's like really dumb. Like, that's like saying Mike Tyson couldn't beat like a white belt martial arts student for using one of Bruce Lee's stances. So it's it's kind of not a good way of doing that. Plus, in uh, Punch Out for the NES, uh, Mike Tyson isn't even doing his peekaboo stance there. He's doing his orthodox stance, which is what Mac does. I think that was the intention. So it's like. Uh, they both have the same stance, but who's stronger? Who's the king of the ring? Dun dun dun. But obviously, Mike Tyson's stronger because he can one-shot Mac. But Mac still won.